This video is about how to schedule a field shift on FizzDAV and log your patient contacts. So first you log into FizzDAV, use your username and password, and this dashboard page should open up. It should be the first page that you see. Um, so to schedule a field, field shift, you will go put your browser over shifts and you'll get two options, schedule, and skills and patient care. So select schedule. You should get this calendar here. You should get this calendar here and you have three options to schedule a field shift, clinical shift, or a lab shift. <clears throat> so you're going to select field shift. Um, you're going to have to select the, the field site that you're going to do it at, which station, which ambulance company, or fire uh, company, so let's select this one for example. You're going to select the station that you'll be at. You're going to select the date that you're going to be there. Start time. What time does your shift, shift start? And how long your shift's going to last? So this is these are just examples. So you're going to put in the data. You're going to put in your data. So you're going to save and here on the calendar, um, what I just saved, this this blue line represents um, that shift that we just scheduled. So you're going to go and do your shift and get your patient contacts. After your shift, you're going to log back into FizzDab. You're going to have to log your patient contacts into FizzDab. So after you log in, you'll be back at this dashboard. Here you'll find um, the amount of hours that you have left to submit your documentation. So usually after your shift ends, you have 48 hours to submit your documentation before it's late. Um, so to log in your patients, you're going to go, you're going to put your browser over shifts and you're going to select skills and patient care. You're going to select the shift that you just had. Um, <clears throat> and then on this page you have this button called patient. So you're going to do your first patient. You're going to select this button. Whoever your first patient is, uh, you're going to fill out this form. You're going to have to fill out this form for every one of your patients. So if you were a team lead, select team lead. What was uh, your team size? Let's say three. If you, your preceptor's name was going to go here. First name, last name. Click save. What was the response mode to scene? Did you guys go lights and sirens? No lights or sirens. Did you perform the initial interview and assessment? <laughs> What was the patient mentation status? Were they ANO times four? Um, what was their age? Were they male or female? You have an option to select an ethnicity. What was their complaint? Let's say chest pain. Your primary impression and select one of those. Except cardiac. Cardiac, patient criticality, were they green, um, ambulatory, <clears throat> illness or injury not yet life threatening, or were they critical and stable, and they had life threatening uh, condition. Down here you can um, put in their vitals. So blood pressure, pulse, respirations, SpO2. If you click more, you'll have more options. Uh, pain, what was their chest pain on a scale of 1 to 10? Let's say 7. Skin, were they clammy, pale, or normal? What were the wrong sounds? Clear, wheezing, wrong kind. What's their GCS? 15. Less than 15, then you get a blood sugar. Put it there. Hit save. It'll save there. Did you do any airway management skills? Those would be here. Um, did you do, did you use your monitor? If you had cardiac, then you would do a 12 lead. Select 12 lead. You interpreted the rhythm. You can select the sh rhythm, uh, what rhythm the patient was in. 
So let's say normal sinus. Hit save. IV access. If they were a cardiac patient, you'd probably attempt an IV. So let's do left AC. Number of attempts. Size of your needle catheter. Did you do your normal saline or just a saline log? Was your attempt successful? Hit save. Alright, so meds. What meds did you give them? For chest pain, we give aspirin. Dose. And route. So let's say oral or subliminal. Any other meds that you give? So let's do nitro. Select dose point four and let's do like and save. And if you did nitro more than once, then just add more nitro to a max of three. Um and hit other if there's anything else that you did. So you can do like a glucose or hospital notify if you gave the hospital a radio report. And then patient is positioned. So treated, transported, and the mode of transport. Lights or sirens or no lights or sirens. So after you get here, you're done with this page. You have to go next to narrative. If you're required to write a narrative, you do it here. So arrived to find a 27-year-old female and a times four. If they were sitting, standing, which chief complaint of chest pain, and then go on with your narrative there. Hit save once you're done. And go back to my shift page here. So you would do that for every patient. So this patient is done, you hit patient and do it all over again. Um, if once you're done with that and you have documentation that you'd like to attach, you hit this button right here, attachment. You choose file, you'd have it uploaded. You'd name your file, whatever you want to call it. Category, if it's an EKG strip, choose that. Shift documentation. And hit save and it'll save right down here once you're done you lock your shift and your shift will be locked um, if for any reason you want to unlock your shift you would have to email your instructor and provide them with this shift ID number right here this will help them uh, loc locate this shift quicker and unlock it for you so you can do any changes or edits. And that's how you schedule your field shift and log your patient contacts. If you found this video to be helpful, like, comment, subscribe. And if there are any other videos that you'd like me to make, uh, just comment below and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you for watching.